Potato. Hi folks, Tarmac Terrorist here. Welcome back to another R Factor 2 video and I'm really excited about this one. I think you're uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. This is amazing! This is amazing! And it looks like uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, this is gonna be a short tutorial about how to race against absolutely any car you like, a field of any car you like in R Factor 2. And I'm not just talking about you want to race a Ferrari GTE against all the rest of the GTEs. I'm talking about anything. <laughs> race a Ferrari with a uh, road going tin top next to a Formula V open wheeler next to an LMP1 car next to something absolutely ridiculous like a car you can do it and I'm going to show you how to do it right here if you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel uh, that really help me out um, and I really hope you're going to enjoy this I've got a list here of uh, some of the cars that I want to uh, have a race against there's about 26 that we're going to have a have a go. We've got everything on there. We've got um, GT3s. We've got Brabham's from the 1970s. We've got uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, everything, mid engine. Um, we've got cars from the Reza pack. We've got uh, even even a couple of mod cars in there. We've got Caterham 7 mod, which is awesome. Go and look that up on Steam. Um, and also the Palatov D4. Go and look that up on Steam as well. Grab that. It's free. Um, we're gonna have so much fun making this video. A lot of people have been asking on the forums how to do this. So I decided to put together a little video. My friend uh, Pete has been asking me to do this for ages. And I, I, I have had, over the last two days I've, I've been making this. I've had mic issues and everything. So sorry about the sound. My equipment is, is pretty broken. Um, as you know, if you watch this channel, the potato. Potato! The broken PC. My headphones are now held together with duct tape because they broke the other day. Um, but I uh, hopefully got the sound levels so there's not too much distortion. But you're gonna want to stick around uh, for this because what, what what I'm gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it. That's gonna be very short. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Then I'm gonna put about 26 cars on track and then the fun's gonna start because we're gonna have a race with a lot of them. I mean that is something to behold, isn't it? Just look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'll do is we'll we'll, uh, we'll do the tutorial. We'll have the race. And then at the end, I'll, I'm going to put on, a, 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 just just tag on the end, the replay of the race from the TV cameras with a bit of music from myself. Um, uh, probably an old dance track that I made years ago. <laughs> bit rubbish, <laughs> but um, uh, it's, it's going to be loads of fun. So, without further ado, let's get into our Factor 2. Okay, here we are in our Factor 2. We're in single player. This tutorial is for single player, by the way. Uh, so when you're offline, and uh, first things first, what we need to do is go to series here, and we need to make sure that all tracks and cars is checked. Usually it's by default. If not, just check it and then click accept. So now we've got all our cars and all of our tracks available to us. Next thing we want to do is choose track. And uh, I have chosen Silverstone, the updated version with the historic chicane. And the reason I've chosen Silverstone is because it's very wide and there's lots of room for overtaking. And we're going to want that because we're putting cars of very different abilities on the track with us. So we've got our track. Next thing we do is come down here to cars. There we are. So um, now what is useful to do is uh, make a, a list or, 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 or take note of all the cars that you're interested in having and and probably write them down like you've seen me do on the little list I showed earlier and uh, so for instance one of the cars is going to be Formula V so we take a note that it's called Formula V here but we also take a note of what it's called in here because in the opponent filter sometimes what's in here is different to what's here so we need to know that and also we need to know what livery we want if you're going to be that specific so for instance i like uh, the livery on car number seven here so i write down that it's car number seven i want because i like the lime green livery there so there you go and you do that for every car that you want so i mean to start off with just pick something like three or five um 
so it doesn't take too long for you. Um, right, so there we go. And uh, once you've taken a note of all of those cars, you need to choose the car that you want to drive. And here's my little surprise for you. The car I'm going to be driving is a Kart Junior. <laughs> and uh, you'll notice that it's called Kart Junior here, but in here it's called Junior Kart 125cc. So that's probably what it'll look like in the opponent's filter. So I'm going to choose my car. Let's have this one with the Radio 7 livery. So we've got our car. And uh, <laughs> you can see how silly this video is going to get. Um, but it's going to be so much fun. Now, next thing is our session settings. Now, you cannot add AI in a race session. So I'm including qualifying and practice. Um, you probably want to do this in practice session. Um, and set your practice time to, uh, let's see, something like 30 minutes. So you've got plenty of time to add all the cars you want and then go and have a practice with them. Then you've got your qualifying uh, session and your race. We are not going to be um, using the full 30 minutes. We're going to be skipping through for the purposes of the video. Right, so next thing we want to do is I'm going to race against about mm, 26 cars, I think. But you can see here from AI drivers, I've got that set at zero. You want that set at zero because we're going to add them once we get to the track. Okay, so I'm going to put my AI strength at 100. That's a good general strength for all of the different cars. Um, then we're going to go through our opponent filter. You can see that it's already selected all of the carts here to race against so we've got all of those available to race against now we're going to go through the opponent uh, fil filter and find all of the other cars that we want to race against so let's see for instance one of the cars that i've got written down i want on track with me is going to be an ac car an ac cobra um, so I know that the AC Cobra is the 427SC. Um, so we click on that and you, as you can see that adds that. We've got our carts there, but it also adds all of the AC cars um, to the list as well. And the particular one I want is in red and black. Um, just a quick note before I go any further. Don't be, please don't, be, especially if, we, if you've got lots of mods installed, don't be tempted to just click select all and go straight in because i mean if you've only got studio 397 cars you could probably do that and you could load up and then choose whatever cars you like but if you've got lots of mod installs sometimes they conflict so you might get halfway through loading the track the whole thing crashes and uh you have to go back to your desktop um i'm going to be using a couple of mods but i know that they work okay with the other cars um but there are some mods that I've got which conflict, so I'm not going to click select all. And, yeah, well, until you know your mods, you shouldn't really do that either. So let's go down the list. Um, what else do we want on track with us? Hmm, let's have a look. So I know that I also want some front wheel drive cars, so I'm going to select the BTCC Civic, which is the Honda Civic. Um, and then you car select, that's why I said... When you select your cars make a note of what they are because it's just called honda civic in the list but here it's called btcc civic and if you click on it then you can see in your opponents it says honda civic and when you're selecting the cars in the game you need to know this stuff so you know what to select from the list so uh, let's do one more uh, let's have a ridiculous 1970s uh, open wheeler F1 car, the Brabham. See if that's gone in there. Brabham, yeah, there we go. Two available. So that's how you add your cars. And then once you've done all of that, you can then click race and load up your track. So what I'm going to do now is just add the rest of all the cars that I want on track. And once I've got that done, I shall load up the track and I will see you there. Okay. Right, so here we are at the track. We've got our track loaded up. I've got my little uh, 125 cart here. We're the only person at the track at the moment. Now we're going to invite our other drivers. So what I used to do 
to do this was uh, uh, when I figured this out, I just started adding AI uh, using this button here. And uh, what that will do is add a random AI from all of the cars that you've got selected. So I don't know what it's going to put on track. It's just added Michael Border there and uh, his car's up there. Now that looks like it might be an open wheeler. No, it's a Palatov. Okay, um, so it's a Palatov Motorsport D4 track day car. Um, by the way, uh, this is one of the mod cars. We've got two mod cars in here, and that's the Caterham, which is a fantastic mod. Go and have a look at that on Steam. And the Palatov, which is also a fantastic uh, mod as well. It's a, uh, it's a very strange little car. Excuse my very low-res graphics there. I have to run on low-res graphics because I'm using Potato. But it's a, a very cool car with a motorbike engine. Anyway, so... It adds a car, but you've got no idea uh, what kind of car it's going to add. So as you're adding, you say, I don't want the Palatov, um, so I, I want maybe a Formula V. Um, I can't select it, you know, just, just, just have exactly what I want. So I have to boot it and then add another one in the hope that it adds uh, the, one of the Formula Vs. Um, but it's not. It's added a, there we go, it's a, uh, a, a an AC car bright. Okay. So, that's not the way to do it. And the way to do it, and I found this out from a friend of mine who I've been racing with um, over at No Assists, a very clever man called Shad. Now, I've got probably near, close to a thousand hours logged in R Factor 2 because I'm a massive R Factor 2 fanboy. And uh, I've been, you know, I've been racing this for ages and didn't know this. He's only been mucking about with it for maybe the past month. And he found... A little button that you probably wouldn't even think exists because it doesn't even light up when you hover over it that's what gets you and it's actually this this little chevron here this little arrow now it doesn't light up but if you click it watch this boom there is a list of every single individual car that you have added to your opponent filter isn't that amazing? Isn't that brilliant? So, Shab, big up to you, mate. Absolutely wicked. So, I know that on my list here, uh, let's go through them. Um, these are the AC Cobras, um, and I wanted the AC Cobra in red and black. So, I select that, just click on it, and boom. There you go. It's added to the track, and you can see now there's an AC Cobra on track with me. <laughs> this is so good. You'll have to excuse me, I might do a lot of laughing through this video because it's going to be so much fun. I also want an Aston Martin GTE. And I know that I like the livery of car number 19 because it's the Studio 397 livery. So we'll click number 19 out of the Aston Martin Vantage GT3s. And boom, there he is. There you go. And that is the, as you can see on the back there, that is the 397 livery. And, uh, oh, there we go. That's the Cobra going off for a bit of a practice. So, um, we'll add one more, because I think you've got the idea of how to do this now. I want a BMW M2 Club Sport. And the game will sort of sometimes maybe freeze a little bit as it adds them. And uh, let's click on him. There we go. We've got our Club Sport. So, basically, you carry on going through this list until you've got, all the cars you like. Uh, for instance, these BMW IFEs here, that's Formula E. Um, and I, I, out of all of the Formula I've actually got Formula E cars here. I've got everything. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, I don't want the BMWs. It's another team that I want. So as I scroll down, I will be able to find them. So what I'm going to do now is uh, load up the rest of the cars that I want. And I will see you in a moment. <laughs> Right, so I've now got all the cars loaded onto the track that we need. As you can see, I've got about 25 of them. And if we expand over here, you can see the full field. We've got everything you can imagine. Uh, basically, this is the best track day ever. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a look now. We've got our, our cart. We've got an AC... 
Cobra, the mighty AC Cobra, very fast in a straight line, but not quite so much around corners. We've got the BMW Club Sport, medium pace race car there, front engine. We have a mental Formula One Brabham there from the 1970s. We have the mighty Corvette. Uh, this supercar is very, very fast um, and can keep up with quite a lot of race cars just because of its amazing top uh, straight line speed. It has, a massive, it has a massive top speed. So we've got road cars on there. And then look, we have a racing GTE version of the Corvette. So that's going to be a lot faster. Um, I think even slightly slower than the road going version in a straight line. Very slightly, but uh, much faster around corners. Um, so uh, let's see what else have we got. Ah, we have our Aston Martin GT3. So we've got the GT3 category represented there. Um, we've got an IndyCar representing the States there. It'll be interesting to see how that does. And we have, oh, the Radical right here from here in the UK, one of my favourites. Mid-engine, purpose-built sports car using a motorbike engine for power. Surprisingly quick. We have the Puma from the GT, uh, from the, sorry, from the Reza pack. For those of you racing AMS2 now, or that you to race AMS1, you'll recognise this car. It's a great fun little car to drive this. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got that. That should come sort of mid-pack, I should imagine. Something to keep up with. The D4 that's just gone past it there. That is the um, Palatov car that I mentioned earlier. Um, it should be a nice one to have on track alongside the Radical because it's a purpose-built track day car, race car. Um, much shorter wheelbase than the Radical, but also uses a motorbike engine. And now we have an LMP2 car, the Oreca there. Um, so that will be coming quite near the top of the field, I should imagine. We have the mighty <laughs> McLaren Senna GTR. Just because I wanted this to be as mental as possible. So we've got the GTR there representing the hypercars. We then have, and this is going to be right at the top of the field. This is the McLaren, <laughs> the MP4. Um, yeah. This is going to be flying around like nobody's business. And there we go, it's gone past one of the carts there. Um, now my car isn't out on track. Um, there's a Honda Civic, uh, sorry, a Honda NSX. One of the old supercars we've got there. Um, <laughs> that should represent another road car on track. Won't be doing so well, I don't think it's quite an old car now. Um, but yeah, back to the carts, the reason that you'll see the odd car on track apart from mine is every car there's only one of each. Um, so there are the only car that there is multiples of is the carts. Because basically we're gonna be the slowest on the circuit. There's a front wheel drive car, there's a Renault Clio, there's a little bit of the little car buddies. Yeah, I want someone to race with. Um, so because the car's been the slowest, there's the stock car that has to present her. Uh, mentally powerful though. Um, now I need someone to race with. So I'm going to be racing with my car buddies. There's going to be four of us in total. There is a Formula E. <laughs> we literally have everything. Right, so, okay. Now, um, as you can see, we're, we're sort of halfway through practice here. If I expand this, we can see that cars are already starting to kind of make sense of where they've come. So obviously the McLaren, the F1 car is at the top, we've got an Indy car near the top. Um, that number, uh, the 1975 is actually the Houston to centre. Or is it the Brabham? It might be the Brabham. One second, let me just check. That is the Brabham, yes. Stuck behind a the cart there. Um, so we'd expect that to be near the top. Uh, we've got... Uh, go back to my car because things are getting a little bit noisy. There we go. Um, we've got the GTEs then coming in. And then nestled in between the GTEs and the GT3s, you've got the Powertov. Shows how good those little motorbike engines are. Formula E, Radicals, not far from the Powertov. Thought they'd be close. Then we're getting into our, uh, we've got our nice powerful front wheel drive 
Honda Civic there, then the Puma is quite close up to that. Corvette road car is quite high up there, number 12. Um, we've got the Decenter, then we're down to things like the, uh, the Clio Cup and the uh, BMW Club Sport. Uh, NSX down here, and then we get down to our slower cars like the Formula V, the Caterham, and then of course the carts are all going to be the slowest because we're only going to be doing, I don't know, at top 75 miles an hour. And we've got cars in here in excess of 100. Now you can see that the Senna and the LMP2 car, why are they at the bottom? It's because they haven't gone out yet. Okay, guys, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. Right, so normally I'd let the practice sessions play out, or you can press CTR, CTRL um, backspace, and that will advance the time, or sort of fast forward uh, the time. Um, but for the purpose of this video, as you can see, when I fast forward the time, my keyboard works for me, a little asterisk comes up here, and everything starts going in super fast mode. Press it again, everything slows down. So, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to click finish session. And that will do a rough estimation of kind of, you know, what it thinks everyone's lap time should be at. Um, so, there we go. Uh, the Senna's moved up there a bit, but because we did, uh, we did an estimation quite late on in the practice session, it... It hasn't put it where it really needs to be. It didn't get time to do proper laps. So let's go to our, let's close this down. Let's go to our next session, which is qualifying. And now if we do finish session right at the start of qualifying, it will simulate the entire session. So all of the cars should sort of theoretically get a full session. Um, so the GTR, I would expect to be some at the top. So let's click finish session and see what we've got. It is always better to either fast forward the time or let the session play out. You get more accurate result, results. But look, the Senna GTR now, as you'd expect, is up here with the LMP2 and the McLaren and the, uh, the, the two F1 cars, uh, the 1975 one here. Then we've got our GTEs. Strangely enough, the Ferrari has been is uh, lagging a bit though i didn't expect that you do get different results every time you do this slightly because also it's down to the drivers another thing to take notice of is that these lap times aren't completely fair because some of the ai with a certain car just doesn't drive it as well as some of the ai with another car would for instance if i race the gts or the gt3s um i can usually put those at about 100 104 percent um, strength AI. I've got them set at 100 right now. Uh, however, the poor old BMW, it's great cars to drive, but the AI are really slow. I have to have them at 118 to have uh, any kind of competition. But um, we've got a generally good looking grid here, and as you can see, the carts are at the bottom. So we've finished our qualifying session. So here's where we get to the real fun, guys. <laughs> Next session, you know what that is. It's race. So it's just gonna hang for a bit. So let's let's just have a look at our grid. Let's full screen it. Look at this, folks. Look at this. This have you ever seen a grid quite as <laughs> varied and random as this? I mean, that is something to behold, isn't it? Just look at that. <laughs> we've got carts, we've got road cars, we've got everything that you could think of. We've got caterums, we've got front wheel drive. There's the Houston Descent, a stock car. This is going to be one hell of a race. And I expect this uh, McLaren here, I do expect that by the time we finish in the carts, our first lap, that will be lapping us. <laughs> so, um, let's get to it. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Um, I've changed my default uh, FOV to a little bit wider so you can see the other cars as they come past. 
Right, I've got to prepare myself mentally for this because it is going to be mental, <laughs> completely. We've got 10 laps, but I should think with the carts, we'll probably only get to five before the race ends because all the other cars are going to finish before us. Um, uh, one thing about the carts, by the way, yesterday was when I, when I tried this out for the first time, is the first time that I um, even tried the carts. I, I may have tried them once. Uh, years ago in R Factor 2, I've had this since the beginning, so I've had, literally had it years. Um, but I've not really given them a go. Yesterday, I had so much fun, and they're really, really good. I really do like them. Um, and uh, the only thing is, there's a problem with them. There's a problem with the AI, as there is with a few cars in R Factor 2. We're hoping that Studio 397 will start focusing on that a bit. But with the carts, unfortunately, uh, off the line, no matter what you do, this isn't to do with their setup, so you can assign them your setup. It's, it, it, it's a flaw with the AI. They have some kind of extra acceleration. No matter what you do with the gearing, they, they just get away faster. Um, and uh, so I am going to be slow off the line compared to them. So I have put my gearing right up so I can achieve a higher top speed, so I can catch back up with them and keep with them. Uh, right, let's do it. Let's let's just do it. So, here, <laughs> folks, this is going to be amazing. Right, have I got everything set up correctly? I think so. I'm going to, carts don't have mirrors. Obviously, you'd be looking around, but I'm going to use a virtual mirror because <laughs> you would never have carts on track with massive, great, big GTRs. I don't want to get run over, and I want you guys to see what's coming. So, we're going to use a mirror. So, now, uh, just a little note before we start, on your settings, go to your difficulty. Now, AI aggression, unlike uh, your AI strength, can be changed in game. You see it's got an asterisk next to AI strength, so you can't change that what's been in the game. You have to go back to your main menu, or rather at the track. Uh, you can't change it at the track. The aggression slider here, though, you can muck about with this. And if I set this to 30 or 40, then basically what's going to happen is the faster cars are going to get stuck behind us and even if there's a gap they're not going to go for it um so you, you can bump it up to 60 they'll go for the gap if you bump it up to something like 80 they'll really push and they will sort of slow down if you get in their way but if they see any sort of a gap they will absolutely go for it um they're not perfect they're ai but i'd say for this test i'm going to have it at 79. so here we go, let's get my mirrors up. Hold the car on the brake. Just creeping forward ever slightly on the line. We're green. We're green. What a field in front of us. And a very slow start. This car's a very slow off the line. other car AI they're getting a much better start nothing you can do about that because the problem with the, well, the, the differences between how they get off the line and how I get off the line I don't know if it's to do with the, them being on a different tire model as we know R factor AI are on a different tire model anyway I'm catching back up to be karting buddies as we come down to our first straight, the hangar straight, have to go through Beckett's, and uh, come on, oh, I kind of want to lean, lean forward, <laughs> you know, that thing that you do when you sit in your seat and lean forward to make the car go faster, we're doing 74 miles an hour, so we're 4 miles an hour above motorway speed. We're the slowest thing on the track, but we're still breaking this, the UK speed limit. Hello, boys. Hello. We've got number seven in blue there as we come round club towards the new pit. We've got number nine in grey. Is that number eight in orange? Number nine's going for the overtake on number eight. Is he making it? He's making it! Will he hold it? 
Will he hold it through the corner? He's taking it. He's taking it. Oh, you can really feel those curves in these uh, starts. Number nine has taken it. As we come up to, where are we now? We're coming through Village, so we got two of our tightest turns. Number eight's taking it back, though. Two of our tightest turns, Village and Luke. And number nine's still going for it, though. I've got the drop on all of these guys down the straight because I've got my slipstream working and I've got my higher gears. But number nine and number eight are probably battling it out. Now, we're on the Wellington Straight, so um, we're getting close to the end of our first lap. So we, sh I'm, I'm imagining we should see something creeping into our mirrors pretty soon. And I think, it, I think I can see something. Yes, I can. That looks like it's the McLaren. Yes, it is. Oh! And, oh, hold him up, boys, hold him up. No, he's gone, but he's gone, look at that. Like a bullet from a gun. Will we... He's, he's already disappeared. He's already disappeared around Corp's corner. <laughs> Just absolutely gone. So I'm going to try and, you know, I don't know what these boys will be doing with their AI, but I'm going to... Whatever they do, I'm going to try and sort of... Uh, if they get three wide, I'm going to try and make it four wide and maybe try and screw with some of these these fast cars, boxing in, that sort of thing. See if we can slow them down. And if we can slow a load of them down, then we'll, uh, we'll have a look behind us and see what kind of... Oh, what's that? That's the last. Let's try and keep, it, keep him there. Oh, God! It's like touch him in there. I got nudged by, by an Indy car in a car. And he's gone through, look at that! The way he navigated himself through. Here comes the mighty setup. Look at that! Oh my god, the speed of that thing! He's just flown past us! Oh, <laughs> oh this is great! We've got something else coming up behind us for a little bit. Looks like it's it's the LMP it's the LMP2 car, let's hold him up. Oh god, no, no, oh god, this is really scary! He's got it! Oh! He is not hanging around, he's going for that gap! Whew. And he's just flown past. So if you want to have some fun, get... Go out and... Um, I'll tell you what, it'd be good to try and get a load of mates together. Oh! What's this? That's the problem! Oh, we had a big slide! And he slowed down for us. But he's got a gap, why is he going for that gap? Why is he not going for that gap? Oh, there he is now. AI having a little bit of a problem there. Oh, we've got a GTE car. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh my god, how he navigated his way through there was incredible. For an AI car, I mean, you know, AI has got their problems, but that was that was pretty impressive. But look at how the parts keep up with him around the tight corners there. He can't shake up the starts around the tight corners, but as soon as he gets onto the Wellington straight, he's gone. And uh, we've got a radical, we have a radical coming along. He's gone straight past us with the D4 power top. Oh, the D4 power top has given one of me car in front of shove. We've got, we've got a Ferrari GTE. We've got a Aston Martin GT3. We have got a, a, a Formula E Gen 2 car. This is amazing. This is amazing. And it looks like, I see a couple of dents in the Ferrari there. Has it had a little bit of a bash somewhere? My car buddies are holding them up. Come on, boys. Oh, there goes the McLaren again. Lapping this for the second time on the second lap. And he's boxed in. Not quite enough of a gap between the two cars. Oh, no, there is. He's just seen it. They opened too wide and they're gone. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is what you call fun, guys.
A lot of fun. Whew. I am I'm very excited about also being next to those cars. Try to look at them. Use your left and right. Oh, oh, something's gone off there big time. I wonder who that was. Yeah, trying to, try to actually look at the cars as they come past and not concentrate on your driving. It's uh, making me sweat quite a bit. Whew. So as we approach the corner, are we going to see something else in our mirrors before we get to the end? I think, was that something or am I just seeing something in the... Is that, is that a car just coming under the bridge? Down the hangar straight there? Not sure if it was or not. Ooh. Bit of a potato, but yes! Yes it is, quite a few cars. That's the Indy car. Getting blue flag, of course. Oh, look at that! He's going for it. Next is that Corvette. That is the Corvette road car and the, uh, oh, the Honda Civic. Not quite sure. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, oh, nearly lost it. Oh, God, there's the Puma. Oh, look at the Puma now we're getting away. Oh, there's the McLaren. Staying out of his way. And especially staying out of this guy's way, the descent of the front of that car for the evening. Look at that bouncing around like a shark. Well, I suppose sharks don't bounce around, but it's, it looks a bit sharky. The way that, it's got, it's got that front sort of underbite jaw, and it does, it, it bounces around a lot. Look at that. Cool. Look at it, pitching and yawing. There's the, uh, there's the BMW M2, there's! The LMP2 car! Oh, have they had it coming together? The BMW there, coming off track. Oh, got to be careful here. Look how close my little mate number eight's wheels were. They're getting run over by the huge wheels of the BMW there. Let's hold him back. Let's hold him back. No, no. He's gone around the outside. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is fun. <laughs> hey, oh, here comes the McLaren again. We've been lapped three times in three laps by the McLaren. doing double what we are. But he's going to be finished pretty shortly. His race will be over pretty shortly, even though we're only on lap four now. Point two into lap four. Here comes the Brabham. Oh, and the car boy kind of closed off from... Oh, no, he's got... Look at that. Fantastic, this is just so much fun. What's this? What's this? Is that a front wheel drive Clio? There's our little Clio. Taking the inside there. Through club. Oh! Coming up to the new pitch. What's this? Is that the Puma? No, that is the R. That is the AC Cobra. Whoa, look at him pitching and yawing. Whoa, almost ran into the car buddy there. The AI don't seem to be able to deal with this straight very well, they. Oh, don't run over his buddy. Don't, oh, crikey, look at that. Oh, Charles, so that's scary. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the D4. That's the two GTE cars. And look at this! Look at this! Oh my god! Oh! I got nudged! I got nudged by the wheel! Of the, of the uh... The AC Cobra! Oh. This is an 
actually properly scary. Oh, I'll stay away from that car, but you can go past, mate. Don't run over me, buddies. There goes the radical. I'm not surprised to see that in the same vicinity as the Palatel D4. There is the Formula E, there is the Ferrari. As we come round Brooklyn. Look at that, what a sight. When do you see a sight like this ever on a racetrack? What a thing to behold. Oh, look at, look at that AC cover pull away. Look at that. This is much fun. This is so much fun. I'm going to lead the way for a bit, boys. Oh, oh, look at that. The seller just having a big slide behind us there. Did you see that in the mirror? My boys are holding him up. Can I slow down and box him? Oh, yes. Well done, boys. We are actually holding up the center. Oh, that's McLaren. Two McLarens on the new. Oh, but the center's gone too. McLaren has also got The McLaren MP has gone too. The, <laughs> the LMP took advantage of the gap there and followed them straight through. As we all started to go a little bit more single file, that, oh, God, this is fantastic. <laughs> I know I keep saying this is amazing. This is fantastic. Oh, my God, a lot, but it is. <laughs> Something else coming up in the mirrors now. What is that? That's a GT3 car. That's a GT3 car. What can we do with this? That's the Aston Martin. And we are, we are four wide. We are four wide. Look at that. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, we're getting a blue flag warning. We're getting a warning. We're going to be penalised if we don't move over, so I guess I better move over. I keep forgetting that this is a... is actually a race. Oh, no. There you go. Look. I have been... Oh! I've been given a drive to. He's lost his back wing. He's had an off. He's lost his back wing. Maybe that's why he's not bothering going for the overtake. Wonder what happened to him. Oh, lap five, he might have. Is he on a cool there? No. no. He is uh, he is going really slow. He's not bothering to overtake at all. He's just sticking with us cart boys. Oh, off he goes now. Now that he's in a completely straight line, I guess if he's lost his wing, he's not going to be hammering it around corners. But he's, uh, no, he's sticking around a bit. Oh, there's the Lara. In blue flagged again. Oh, he's gone straight around the outside. You, under normal circumstances, of course, I would have, you know, have to go and take my, uh, my penalty, my drive through, but I'm not really bothered for the purpose of this video. This is just for fun. That stricken Aston Martin is staying with us. I might actually even be able to catch him up. This is the craziest thing. Oh! Quite good, the problems are hanging around. Brabham's not hanging around at all, and is that the NFX? There is the Honda NFX! Oh, there he goes! He's in all that curb there, he's got stuck behind the car, he can't move because he's got the Aston on his right hand side. What's that, we've got the Honda Civic coming up as well in the mirrors. Down by the side, oh my god, I'm right next to a huge great big car. <laughs> He's going, he's going, to eat it. they're not, they want to get past. Oh, the NSX wants to get past so much, he's going to the grass. But the cart boys are, oh, they've gone through. There's the Corvette. Where's the cart boys? 
Why is this Aston Martin following us? He's just staying with us. We're gonna get up beside him. This is this is just crazy. This is properly crazy stuff. Oh, and he's gone finally. Oh. So two cart boys in front, two cart boys behind. Holding up. Oh! There is the there is the Formula V, that's the first time I've seen him. Some of the slower cars are catching up then. Here he comes. Formula V actually not looking too dissimilar from the carts. He's, he's the closest thing to us on the track. The next smallest car on the track next to us. <laughs> I do like those Formula Vs though, I could find they're very difficult but they're set up to be that way they're kind of like a trainer car they are good fun. what have we got behind us now i think i think everything's cooling down a bit yeah look at that with all of these cars cars and a cool down that oh try and look behind you when you're going forward at what are we i don't know 50 odd miles now it's difficult these cars are definitely all on their cool down lap look at that i'm gonna Look at that. When do you see a sight like that, Norley? Look at that, Ferraris, LMP2 cars, Radicals, Senna GTR. Oh, look. Look at the air on the back of that thing. And I've got the Formula E right behind me. My uh, stuttery screen there, my frame rates are dropping a bit with all of these cars around me. This is, have to, this is uh, what you get from a from a two meg graphics, two gig graphics card. We are finished. These cars were bought, and these cars finished, I think, a lap or two ago. But I'm going to stick with them just for this cool down lap because, I mean, look at this. Those Formula E cars I've been having a lot of fun with. I bought the Formula E pack during the uh, sale and it was worth it just for the four tracks to come with it. And uh, they hold the road very well because they're actually surprisingly heavy with all those batteries in them. And they feel it as well. I was, you know, when I first started driving, I was thinking Formula car like this, but actually they're not all that light. This. <laughs> the graphic on the uh, on the flowing brake list is looking a bit odd there on the center. <laughs> Don't try this um, on your home track in real life. <laughs> Just even at this uh, slower speed now uh, on the well, same speed for me this field. Oh, very dangerous! Oh, I got attacked from the back wheel of the center there. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> That's just as I was saying, don't try this at home. You get the example of exactly why not to. <laughs> what a sight, honestly. No, we're still going round. I think because other cars haven't finished, uh, I don't know if the, usually the cars would be one full down lap and then they'd pit. But um, I don't know if it's because other cars haven't finished that they're staying out. So I think what we can do now is we'll finish up because I'm pretty flustered after that. And there we go. Well, folks, that was much fun. Uh, uh, even more cars coming around now. What we've got there's the Caterham. He never caught up with us, I don't think. The Brabham and the Cobra. Much fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Just 
superb stuff. <laughs> Enjoy mucking about with multi-class racing. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. Um, please subscribe if you're enjoying these vids. And uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.